If you're having a hard time with it, there are a lot of pet loss support lines, hotlines out there. In fact, when I searched Iowa State University's veterinary college, they have a hotline. Then I found out that almost every veterinary college in the United States has a pet loss support line. So you can Google those and there are a lot of them out there. Don't be afraid, don't be embarrassed to do this. Now I use these essential oils for emotional happiness. Each oil, if you look in the, like in the essential desk references, each oil has a fragrant influence on the mind, whether it's uplifting, calming, relaxing, almost sedating, whatever, okay? Then you find the oil that your nose likes. There's an old saying, and I don't know if this is true or not, but if they say if you're, you are repelled or repulsed by an oil, you need it physically, if you're extremely drawn to an oil and you can't stop smelling it, you need it emotionally. Again, I don't know, that's a wise tale. I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems to work for me. You can diffuse and inhale these oils as you wish, or you can actually wear them as perfume on your pulse points. I like to put a lot of oils on my neck because I'm smelling them. I like to put them around the animal's ears and neck because they're still smelling them as well as getting them on topically. The heart, for those of you who know what the heart chakra is, and when I say chakra, it's C-H-A-K-R-A. These are energy points in the body that respond to or relate to different nerve bundles in your body. So putting the oils over your heart helps what we call the metaphysical heart as well as the physical heart. The metaphysical heart is where you hurt, where you feel like you've got a broken heart. And just with the, like the, with the example of Debbie Reynolds and her daughter Carrie, the metaphysical heart when it hurts can cause a physical heart to stop. So you have to take care of that metaphysical heart as well, your emotional heart. And then when you put the oils on yourself, you're like a human diffuser and the animals, your animals will smell them and get the benefits as well as you. I could have an entire two or three pages of essential oils that can have calming or soothing, relaxing type of properties to them, but I limited it to these. I'm just gonna go quickly through here and I'll tell you why I chose these. Number one would be frankincense or sacred frankincense. I really think that frankincense is one of the most uplifting oils there are. I use it in hospice care. And if I have to euthanize an animal, I'm using it for that transition between the owner and the pet. Mm -hmm.